Bernoulli's principle relates the pressure of a fluid to its elevation and its speed. It is an essential tool in fluid mechanics. You can imagine fluid as a tiny pieces of cylindrical particle, flowing in the tube. Let's consider the element of fluid, that at some initial time lies between the two cross sections A and C. The speeds at the lower and upper ends are V1 and V2. A1 and A2 are the cross-section area of the tube, at point A and C. Let us consider these area first. The fluid is incompressible. Hence by the continuity equation, the volume of fluid dV passing any cross-section, during time dt, is the same. In a small time interval dt, the fluid that is, initially at, A, moves to a distance, ds1 equals v1 dt, and the fluid that is initially at C, moves to D, a distance, ds2 equals v2 dt. Now let's compute the work done on this fluid during small time dt, for zero viscosity or, zero internal friction. In the fluid, forces that do work on the fluid element are due to the pressure of the surrounding fluid. Forces are shown in red arrow. Force at A acts in positive direction whereas force at C acts in negative direction. It is in negative direction because the force at C opposes the displacement of the fluid. Think of it as the reaction force. The network DW, done on the element by the surrounding fluid during this displacement is sum of individual work done. At the beginning of the DT, the fluid between A and B has kinetic energy, at the end of DT, the fluid between C and D has kinetic energy. The net change in kinetic energy, during time DT is shown. They are just the difference between final value minus, initial value. What about the change in gravitational potential energy? At the beginning, and end of dt, the potential energy for the mass between AB, and CD is shown. Potential energy just depends upon the mass of fluid, dm, and the datum height, y1 and y2. g, is acceleration due to gravity here. Therefore, the net change in potential energy, during time dt is, just the difference between final value minus initial value. Now we get all the energy equation, by combining these three equation, Bernoulli's equation will arrive. The work dw, is due to forces other than the conservative force of gravity, so it equals the change in the total mechanical energy, associated with the fluid element. The mechanical energy for the fluid between sections B and C does not change at all. The total mechanical energy is just, the sum of kinetic and potential energy. Now combine the three equation and you will get the Bernoulli's equation. Also remember, Bernoulli's equation is valid for only incompressible, steady flow of a fluid with no internal friction. It's a simple equation that's easy to use. Don't let this tempt you to use it in situations in which it doesn't apply. Please subscribe for more, education is knowledge, the more you read the better you get.